the thing that's on my mind really, really uh, consistent these days is, you know, my love for my wife. Here's a picture, 38 years of marriage, you know, and I, I really love my wife. But here's the thing I want to really mention is that there's a love for the church. There's a love for Jesus Christ. And my question to you is, where's your love for the church if you say you love Jesus? You know, Paul talks about it in the book of Ephesians that a man is to love his wife like Christ loved the church. Well, if Christ loved the church, do you love the church? I love my wife. And, and when it comes down to uh, just who I am today, I would not be the man that I am today if it were not for my wife. Well, you would not be the Christian that you are today if it were not for Jesus and his church. Not just Jesus, but Jesus and his church. To say you love Jesus and don't love the church will be the same thing as me saying, I love marriage, but I don't love Deborah. Can you imagine that? No, you can't imagine that at all. So look, here's what I believe. Same strategy is, let me separate the children of God from what God loves. Let me separate those who call themselves Christians from what Christ loved. Christ loves the church so much that he called the church his bride. We need to return to our first love. What's your first love? Christ. You're his bride, the church. Don't fall in love with Christ and not remain steadfast in your love for his church.